This is Steve from SewingGold.com and I have a Juki DDL8700H here and I'm going to be sewing this uh, sample that a customer sent me. Um, it's got a little D-ring on the end. It's got multiple layers here, probably at least eight layers. Here I've got at least four with something inside there, so it's, it's, it's pretty heavy. This is really heavy. Um, I'm going to try and sew this right now by the D-ring and then sew the other side and then I'll sew a straight stitch, I'm assuming, along the edge of this. So I'm going to start here, uh, I guess I, I'm going to have to pull these things off if the foot gets in the way. I'm going to give it a shot right now. Okay, here goes nothing. And I am not the best sewer in the world, so no critiquing on my sewing. Now, I think I'm going to take this off. I don't know if I can get it close to that D-ring because the foot's so large to make almost like a box. I'm not sure if that's what the customer is looking for exactly. But let's see what happens. I don't want to get too close to that D-ring. I'm going to just lay, la lay a stitch there and come around. went a little too far there. I am not hired as a sewer, that's for sure. All right, so it sews through it, no problem. Let me just check the other side. So, there's your stitch on the top. So the stitch looks pretty small because it's so heavy. Um, and there's the back. This looks like a little of the top came through, or is that just, I think that was just the thread that was down there. Let me pull that out and see what that is. Yeah. So that's what the bottom looks like. Not the best box in the world. And there's that. Okay, so now I'm going to do the straight stitch along the edge, which is going to look nicer than this because I think I can do a better straight stitch than I do a box. Let's see, take a look at that. Even though I could see I didn't go very straight. All right. There's our top. And there's our bottom. Oh, there's our bottom. Sorry, the focus is not the greatest. All right. So looking at it myself, looks like the tension needs to be adjusted a little bit, a little tighter. So the bottom is pulling a little bit, so we'd have to go a little tighter on the stitch. And then also with the material like this, see how I didn't, it, it like didn't I, I I didn't keep it together like it was when it was. Uh, 
um, with those little clips. A walking foot may be better on this because then it'll be feeding top and bottom. Okay, I'm going to just try the other end here. first stitch and I probably should do a reverse on this too yeah this is tough very heavy okay and then I'll do my reverse so I don't know if they were gonna do a box here possible so I'm gonna actually pull the clips and do a box there too so this looks this will handle it it's just I don't know if it's exactly the right machine just because of how uneven it is when I sewed it, but then again, it could be me because I am not the greatest sewer in the world. All right, here we go. I'm going to just move a little. I can't do much because this buckle's in the way. Yeah, it's going to get really close to that. It's like hitting the feed dog right now. All right. Yeah, this is definitely underneath where the feet is. Let me pause this for a second because I... Do you need my help? I'm sorry. I'm going to have to give directions to a customer. Hold on, please. Thanks. All right, I'm back. So, like I was saying, this, this buckle here is in the way. I'm not exactly sure how to get rid of it um, without... I, I may even hit the needle here because I'm, I could feel it with resistance underneath here so i'm probably going a little too close to the buckle obviously so we're going to see what happens hopefully i'm not going to break a needle on this buckle and then hit myself yeah it's it's, it's actually hitting the feed dog let's see if i can get it out of the way this is probably not what the customer had in mind but just in case yeah, and then this is definitely not going to work right now because of the foot itself. Let's see. Oh, well, never say definitely. Okay, this is definitely not a sewing 101 video. This is just Steve sewing on a customer's product. Not very well, of course, but here I did another box there. Um, it's a bad box, and with all the thread underneath it. I'm going to run a straight stitch on here, just so you could see running a straight stitch. I sort of made it look bad already, but since this is just a sample, let's just go over the top of my box here, just so we can see how easy this will go through if we're just doing a straight stitch. So we're going to lay our first stitch. Is my hand in the way? So easy. And then even going in reverse, nice and easy. So if you just want to do a few straight stitchers, that's no problem. That's easy on it. Making that box, I probably made it a little more difficult. And I probably didn't listen to the customer's directions. Um, but I will soon find out. And same thing on this side. If we want to just do a straight stitch and of course we're going to cut all that excess so it doesn't look bad all right same thing on this side we'll do a straight stitch and then we'll just reverse the whole thing very easy it just, if a box is what was wanted, it's going to need a better sewer than me. So, straight stitch, like a double straight stitch on both sides. Went through the material, no problem. Um, and then we'll have to see about this. I may run this off on a walking foot also, but. I would have to tear this out to know for sure if it would sew perfectly even, but I'm assuming it would be more even and you wouldn't have 
um, that overlap here. But I, I think that overlap also, whoops, the overlap is also inexperienced sower, me. Okay, if you have any questions about this video, um, just put a message down below the video. Um, hopefully no really harsh comments about my fantastic sewing. Thanks.